Wagwan J Squad and hello everyone, welcome back to JSA's 876, your go-to spot for all things Jamaica history and lifestyle and culture. Today we're going to be diving into a topic that most Jamaicans have heard about but might not fully know. Today we're going to be talking about hidden treasures beneath our feet. And no, I'm not talking about bauxite. We're going to be exploring Jamaica's other precious metals and resources such as gold, silver, copper and more. If this information has already caught your attention, then please feel free to join the JCS family by hitting the subscribe button right down below. Give the video a thumbs up and drop down below on what you find most fascinating about Jamaica's mineral wealth. Now when we talk about mining in Jamaica, bauxite is often the first thing that comes to mind, and rightly so. For decades, bauxite has been our red gold driving our economy. It is used in the production of aluminum, which is key material in everything from soda cans to airplanes. But did you know that Jamaica's mineral wealth goes far beyond bauxite? How many of you knew that Jamaica exported over 170,000 US dollars worth of gold in 2002 alone? Yes, you heard that right, over 170,000 US dollars. Drop a comment if you are surprised also, and let's keep this conversation going in the comment section. So is there really gold in Jamaica? Absolutely. Now you might be wondering, where in Jamaica can you actually find gold? One key location is in the hills of the parish of Clarendon. This area has seen small scale gold mining activities over the years, but gold isn't the only precious metal lurking in our soil. Let's talk about some other metallic treasures hidden in Jamaica's hearth. We are talking about cobalt, copper, iron, lead, manganese, silver, titanium, zinc, and even precious stones like diamonds. Yes, you heard it right diamonds these minerals are spread out across the island with some key locations being copper which is found primarily in the blue mountains and central parts of the island iron and lead concentrated in areas such as the parish of saint anne manganese historically mined in saint elizabeth titanium and zinc potentially present in various locations but still underexplored the diversity of our mineral resources is absolutely stunning and there's so much potential for the future. Now here's the exciting part. What does all of this mean for Jamaica's future? With the right investment and sustainable practices, the mining of these minerals could be significant economically and it could benefit the island greatly. However, it is also important to consider the environmental impacts and ensure that our natural beauty is preserved while we tap into these wonderful resources. What are your thoughts on Jamaica's mineral wealth? Do you think we should explore these resources any further? Let me know in the comments section. And if you haven't yet joined the JCS family, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now, hit the notification bell and do not miss out on any other of the exciting contents that we put out about this beautiful island Jamaica. Jamaica is more than just a beautiful beach and reggae music. We are sitting on a treasure trove of metallic riches. From the well-known bauxite to the lesser minerals like gold and copper, our highland has so much untapped potential. It is up to us to learn about it, talk about it, and make sure we use it wisely. So thanks again for tuning in to JCS 876, your go-to channel for everything Jamaican. If you enjoyed this video and you have not yet liked this video, hit the like button, share it with a friend, and let's continue exploring Jamaica's rich history and culture together. See you on the next one. And until next time, walk good, stay blessed, and as we always say on this channel, JCS, and we are out